This is Twit. So the preview is out. The only way that you can get the Android 11 uh, preview installed right now is by downloading the OTA or, or the factory image. Uh, there is no opting in at this point for the automatic download via the beta channel, which will be an option eventually. But right, right now, it's so early. This is actually a month earlier uh, than last year's Android 10 first developer preview released. Mm -hmm. So we're even a month earlier, which makes me wonder if if that's going to change the release date at all or what's going to happen. Makes me wonder if your phone is going to blow up could. right now. <laughs> Very well could. But you know what? It's, a, it's a, a Pixel 3a that I had hanging around. And I was like, you know what? I'm not going to put this on my uh, right. Pixel 4 XL. So... Uh, I've got it on here instead. Go the safe route. Uh, the SDK is also in Android Studio, and mm -hmm. that's you know really what this is all about. This is about developers playing around with some of the new features, um, kind of understanding what they're all about, getting their apps prepared and ready and all that stuff. The original Pixel and the original Pixel XL are not going to get Android 11. So we know are that, we surprised? that at this point. I don't think so, right. but... I think people it pretty know, much got his last notice. updates in December 2019, right? I believe so. I believe so. Yeah, they they got updates longer than I think they were supposed to, anyways. Mm -hmm. But uh, Android 11 is not coming to the Pixel. I'm sure there will be some developers that do the uh, the magic yeah. work to to bring it over, anyways. We love devs. So, anyways, um, sh I mean, walking through Android 11, there's not a whole lot new to look at. Like you can see, this says all apps instead of a line there separating. That's pretty minimal. Um, one of the new features is in the quick settings. There is now an option to put in a screen record feature. Oh, so this that's is nice. This is embedded into the OS, at least at this stage. And, and mind you, with developer previews, anything can change. From, yeah, that could be for debugging, mm -hmm. couldn't it? Could be, but I know that this has been something that they've been working on, and it's kind of bounced back and forth uh, previously. And so now it's surfacing as an option for the quick tile setting. So I could just tap it. It says, are you sure you want to do that? Start now. And I that am That would recording. be great to have right out of the box. Once I stop that, I believe it, it would appear in my notification screen recording. I could tap that to view the video that I just recorded. And there we go. Good that. So that's kind of nice. Nice. You know, I don't know if everybody has a use for screen recording, but yeah, I use up. I use that for tutorials. Um, if I'm yes. trying to show someone right. how to do post processing in Lightroom Mobile or, or just whatever yep. it is I'm doing creatively, I've done some screen recordings and put them up on YouTube or on Instagram or something like that. And it's just a way to, you know, to really allow people to be immersed in the process. Yep. You know? Yep. So, okay. So that's one thing I can show you. Another thing in the settings, if I go to do a search for dark mode or dark theme, let's see here, we'll go to dark theme. So, which I know is Jeff's favorite, yeah. favorite section of the OS. <laughs> <laughs> now you have the ability in the schedule to turn it on from a at a custom time so you can set that up also from sunset to sunrise so if you want it to automatically switch to dark mode as the sun starts to set you can do that so yes, yes. oh yes oh, yes so i wonder Mr. if it's kevin gonna, is awesome it might be it might be <laughs> synced up not with the light coming through the camera as is the case right now but probably more so with the time of day and, and right uh, and your time zone and everything That'd but it'd be cool to, to have that as well as um the blue filter feature that yeah. you can set up yeah you can set that too within uh digital well-being settings I can you can put a schedule on that so it would happen at the same time. So, so you can automate the dark theme on the system, which is uh, kind of nice. What else can I show you? Um, oh, okay. So, there's a lot of permissions work that uh, is apparently happening. You know, continuing to happen with Android 11. Uh, some of those permission changes. It's one. It's going to pro prohibit apps from repeatedly asking for a single permission. So, some there there have been times in the past where it will keep popping up this request and you know you deny it and it's still like it's almost like it requires you to do it because it keeps asking yeah. now it'll kind of give up it's like forces the apps to give up um so that's nice one thing i can show you so i have yelp installed here uh yelp says okay we're going to need your location if i say okay understand i get this this thing which we've seen before mm -hmm. this message allow yelp to access this device's location, you get a new setting in here, only this time. So it's a temporary setting now oh. that's like, you know what? 
on just this open, I want Yelp to have access to my uh, my uh, location. But the next time that I launch the app, I want that to be reneged and ask me again then. Um, nice. They made some really great changes last version around that, but they're adding more uh, features. Yeah, I believe that. it was like right now, like allow it always or just when this app is open was the, the phrase that it used in the past. But I like this being literally temporary, this time only, period. Kind yeah. Of thing. That's pretty slick. Yeah, totally. Uh, it gives you a little bit more control. I've turned on the brightness so things aren't so blindingly light for you. Um, as far as things that I can really show you, I think the rest of the stuff is really kind of hidden. I mean, there's one more thing. If I had received a message through like a messenger, one of my notifications uh, that would appear from there, uh, it is labeled as conversation. So uh, I think this... I, I don't know exactly why that is, but I think they're going to bundle. That means that they're going to be bundling messaging apps under like a single notification <laughs> tree. We'll have the sort. 87th Google messaging app. Oh, boy. Combining <laughs> <laughs> all 86 that came before. Embedded in the OS this oh time. Oh, boy. So yeah, I don't think it's a new type of messaging app, but it's just a way of organizing messaging uh, app notifications in, right. into a conversations tier. Do they do they have a setting in the notification settings that will currently that will let you bundle or unbundle those things? I wonder. Let's see here. I don't know so if you, if you know got a chance that, to look there. I know that um, the 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 notification feature is called conversations. I'm doing a uh, search in settings for conversations or starting to, mm -hmm. and these are assistant or apps and notifications assistant. So these are both tied to assistant. So I don't think that's right. what we're looking for. Uh, if we do bundles, because I do remember that notification bundling. Uh, but I'm not finding anything for that. There, There is a way to get into settings for that, though. Apps and notifications. Let's see here. So notifications, system UI. I feel like I'm probably not looking in the right zone, but... There might there might be some way to to uh, bundle notifications. I know that was part of the previous version. I didn't really use it that much though. So I, I swipe away it. so many notifications yeah. without looking nowadays. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 